Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm going to show you how to remove the bloatware from your LG G-Flex. Okay, so before you begin this procedure, you must be rooted. Um, if you're not, uh, click the link beneath this video on our site to be taken to our how to root procedure um, for this device. Once you're done with that, you can come back to this one and we can continue. Okay, first we're going to open up the Play Store. And search for no bloat. And you'll find the free version. Hit install, hit accept, and wait for that to install. Then we're going to open it. And when asked for super user permissions, hit grant. And now we're going to go to system apps. And this is going to give us a list of all of the apps that are installed in the system folder, which is the folder that you can't access unless you have root access. Um, and this is where your carrier or your manufacturer will put all of their bloatware that we call it or the apps that they want installed that you might not necessarily need. Um, so things like maybe the AT&T address book that I never use. Um, Basically, you're going to choose whatever apps in here that you want to remove, um, and we're going to tap Backup and Delete, and hit OK. And you're going to repeat that for all of the apps that you don't use. Now, be careful here that you don't do this to an app um, that the device actually needs. For example, Aspect Ratio Correction is probably one I wouldn't touch because it might be something that the phone actually requires to run. Um, but what we do is we did do that backup as well, and the reason we did that was you're going to run this now with all of those things disabled and backed up um, and see if there are any issues. If there aren't, you should be able to then go into backed up apps, and you'll see that's one we had, tap it, and then hit delete backup to, to give you more um, storage space and all of that stuff. But keep in mind that when you do this delete backup step, that is permanent. Um, so you might want to hold off on actually deleting the backup and just go through here and do what I just did, which was, um, say, delete and backup, uh, and then keep doing that until all of the ones are gone. Using it for a long enough time, then you might be able to go in here and actually delete them once you know that your device doesn't need them. Um, but that's it. You can also go in there and restore backup apps in case uh, you deleted something that you weren't supposed to, etc. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.